Hi guys! I wanted to give you an update of what's been happening with my planners over the last few months. Um, it's now the end of March, it's Easter Sunday, March the 27th, and um, Rory has asked me to make a video, so um, I'm going to make this one which is just going to be sort of an update, it's going to be a bit waffly, not really sure what I'm going to say, and then I'm hoping to make a setup video once I've finished setting up this one and maybe a video that's more specific on setting up planners and sort of transitioning and changing purposes and things. So um, this is my current planner and I haven't finished setting it up yet. Um, I don't know if you can see the colour properly in this light but it's the A6 purple Van der Speck Touch Me. It's lovely. I bought it from someone, I put an in search of advert on the uh, Van der Speck sale and trade group on Facebook and um, I got a message really quickly and was able to buy it from the lady and she sent it really quickly and in really beautiful packaging so it was really great to get this one. Um, <clears throat> so I'll tell you about which planners I've been using. So um, I think at the end of last year I was using my A6 light brown touch me and that was um, I can't remember whether that was working well or not you know how it is when you change planners a lot and you go through a lot of um, changing your mind about which is the best type for you <laughs> you use so many that you can't really remember what worked for you and what didn't um, I think the reason why I changed was because I was getting the plannerisms planner for Christmas so if you don't know about the plannerisms planner it has been invented by Plannerisms Laurie. Her name is Laurie, but she runs the Plannerisms blog. I will post the link below. Um, she brought out this year's um, Plannerisms planner in three booklets like this. So I got that. Go Plannerisms planner, um, and I started using this. So I sort of hacked it. This is actually the monthly book with the goals etc and I took the first yearly um, the first half of the year's weekly pages and spliced them into the middle and attached them with a um, elastic like you have in a Midori instead of stapling the book because if you staple it you can't take the pages out. I just elasticated it just by putting the elastic around the outside um, and that means that I can take the pages out. So that means that I can keep five weeks of pages in here and then have the other five weeks because it's signature bound. Um, so for example the March the 21st, oh no let's say the um, February the week ending the 7th um, pages go to the uh, May um, the 9th to the 11th starting week and um, that was this itself worked well except for the fact that um, I couldn't have all my notes and my organisation section and stuff in here theoretically I could have put pages in the middle here but it's also quite a flimsy cover it's it was designed to go in was it the X17 um, style cover which is very similar to the Midori type style so I got this for Christmas as well which is um, a leather full craft A6, uh, sorry, A5 kit in their country soft leather um, which is a A5 and is a bit too big for my everyday use. I did use it for a couple of months but it was annoying to have to keep on putting into and taking out of my bag because the zip, you know, you have to sort of have three hands to put it in or take it out and it was a bit cumbersome. And although I was using the diary, I wasn't using the other bits that much because I think it's just something psychological that when I don't use the other bits that I normally would use and quite frankly I do need to use then it's 
subconsciously not working for me and I have to change back to something that does work for me. Um, but in here, so I had my uh, my notebook and organisation and I did start a bullet journal but I didn't use that. I just literally used that two days, three days. Um, so I've got all this paper but it's okay because I will use that for something else. So then I switched to, actually then I went without a planner for a little while. And then I switched to this one, no, then I put this in here, that was it. I decided to not to use this one anymore, I decided to use the Plannerisms Planner inside my A5 Custom Vanderspec. So um, I haven't changed this yet and the reason for that is that I will probably do a video on me changing it. Um, so the idea was that I could have this inside here, carry it around all day at home and um, then it would be my diary, my organisation stuff which is what I was missing because I wasn't using it in here. Organisation, mm, oh I need two hands, um, notes, I'm holding my tripod so sorry if it's wobbly as well, um, journal and what's that say, workbook, um, but I wasn't using that much either. I love, 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 love this this binder and I really, really want to use it for everything, but I don't know, it's, I have to, I have to figure out what exactly this is for. I don't think I want to carry it around everywhere, I'm not sure, I will be figuring that out in due course, um, but that didn't work for me either. So I realised that I needed a small thing. The size difference is huge. Also, Facebook was influencing me. All these amazing groups like Tiny TN's group and stuff. I was seeing all these lovely pocket size, field note size, A6 size um, traveller's notebooks and I wanted to use mine again. And it's this is a carry everywhere thing. And this is... I can't take this out of the house. It's just huge and heavy and I can't even take it around the house with me. I wouldn't even take this up to the kitchen because the kitchen will make this become dirty. Um, whereas something like this is tiny and cute and I can stick it in my pocket and literally carry everything everywhere with me. And it's um, an A6 by paper flower traveller's notebook and I used it for a little while but I didn't really like it because in my heart I want to use a traveller's notebook in my head I need to use a binder I love traveller's notebooks and I really want to use them but they I don't think they work for me fundamentally I need something where I'm not carrying around as much blank paper that isn't getting used and then when you finish using you know, you finish the, um, the the notes pages and cross them off because those notes are now irrelevant. You, and you're back to the like sort of last three pages in the back of the notebook, and you're like, I now have to carry around a brand new notebook full of blank pages and all of my old notes which I now don't need. And you don't have the inflexibility of changing pages, changing papers. I mean. That is the sort of fundamental way of carrying notebooks. You can hack it and make it so that you can change the paper and take out old pages and put um, new pages in and only carry around what you need by not stapling, which I haven't done in these, so theoretically I could, and not stitching, um, take papers out from under the elastic and replace them. but. I think if I'm going to use this, it's going to be more for um, an on-the-go notebook, not as a planner. I think the planner is, I need more flexibility. So that's why I, I came out of it quite quickly. Um, so I switched to this one when I bought it online and I really do like it. I don't always want to use a binder 
but I know it works for me. And if my logical brain is working, then I know I have to stick with this. Even though in my heart I want to use a traveller's notebook, I know that an A6 size binder is better for me. So I'll, I'll give you a, um, a setup video of this when I finish setting it up. Um, I'll just briefly tell you about my um, my uni planner. Um, I've just finished my modules, so now I'm into my dissertation writing period. So the setup of this has changed. If you saw my previous video, you will know that I had it was very basic. I had um, a notes section at the front which was mainly just lecture notes then an organization section in the middle which I really rarely used and then a work section at the back which was my plans for my essays and then I had some other random stuff in here like meeting notes and um, student council notes and some other plans that are related to my uni course but not directly related to my work um, but I've, I've slightly changed it because now I'm not having lectures I don't need the notes section at the front so I've moved the notes section to the back and I'm still going to be writing some notes from um, seminars and things because the university has got a conference coming up um, but I've brought the notes section to the front for my dissertation and also my placement notes so um, and that's that and then in the organisation section I've put in my dodo pad inserts but I've only got two weeks worth because I didn't bring the rest back from home at Christmas so my mum's posting them so I will have them but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in here because I think I'm going to put them in here folded in half because it's a a5 size and this is a6 size so you fold an a5 piece of paper in half and you put the holes along this side instead of this side and you've got yourself an A5 insert which can fit inside an A6 binder. It's just easier for me to have everything in one place because then I know I can have it with me, I can check it when I'm out walking on the way to the library, see what I have to do that day or if I'm say um, in the kitchen with my binder and not with this big one and I'm like, oh, what do I have to read tonight or something? I got it in here. So yeah, that's that. Um, I am going to I think I'll finish setting this one up. I may make a video showing how I set it up, just as sort of like a basic thing. Um, and I also want to make a video on sort of the transition, how you might go through the thinking process of changing the purpose of a binder, changing um, the layout of it etc. So thank you for watching, bye!